Hello everyone, my name is Devlin and welcome to my channel Indi Yogi. Downward facing dog asana, extremely important strengthening and stretching asana. I'll be showing you everything you need to know about this. Warm up, cool down, common mistakes and how to perfect the posture. As a warm-up, we're going to stretch the spine, core and wrists with few repetitions of cat and cow stretches. Tabletop position, wrists under shoulders, thighs at 90 degrees to the ground. As you inhale, open up the chest, spine, core and neck into the cow pose and as you exhale, curl the body inwards. Now from the tabletop, toes active. Pressing the floor with your palms, drive your hips up into the downward facing dog pose. The first one as you can see is incorrect because the spine is rounded. However, we can't call the second one wrong because this is just for inflexible yogis. If you're not being able to touch the heels to the ground, you can start it here. We will be addressing how to fix this issue later. The third one is the final position where we all want to reach at. Now we're going to practice few rounds of downward facing dog to tabletop. This is going to load up the shoulders and deepen the hamstring and calf stretch for a second. And then again release the load enabling you to get a feel of the actual stretch. The next most important aspect is the core where we're going to fix the position of our feet and palms and practice few repetitions of high plank to down dog strengthening the core muscles. The fact that we don't let the hips think while transitioning into plank activates the abdominal muscles. Now coming back to the inflexibility issue. If you are unable to keep the feet grounded in downward facing dog, try walking on the spot to stretch the hamstrings and calf muscles, allowing them to get used to the stretch. You could also practice tabletop to downward dog stretches with the heels lifted. With each repetition, try deepening the stretch, pushing the heels towards the ground. Few weeks of practice and I promise you will get there. Touching the ground with feet flat. Now addressing the rounded back and other upper back inflexibility issues. We're going to try to keep the elbows straight and press the crown of the head towards the ground. Go as low as you could and feel the upper back muscles open. It's a beautiful stretch. Now continue holding and relaxing for a few repetitions. Coming now to the most important yet neglected part, the finger positioning. The distance between your palms should be roughly shoulder width apart, fingers widely spread out. While lifting the hips up, press the floor deeply through the palms. Keep the elbows straightened. Now the next equally important detailing is the external rotation of shoulder blades. Remember, the shoulders should be relaxed not shrugging or hunched. Here's what I mean by external rotation. So now master the feeling of the same by repeating few times concentrating on your shoulders. Finally, after the downward facing dog practice, you can now Cool down in the child's pose. Place your hips on your heels, forehead on the ground. Extend your arms and relax all the muscles. Hey guys, if you are enjoying my content, please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe to my channel Linda Yogi. Also, if you're interested in couple yoga and partners yoga, something like these, I keep on uploading YouTube shots throughout the week. Subscribe to my channel. There's a lot of fun content coming up through the week. And every Saturday or Sunday, I upload long form videos on YouTube. Right, guys, I will see you next week. Till then, bye-bye.